What's up guys, it is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time checking me out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get the latest and greatest on SCCM uh, videos, how to tutorials, all that good stuff. Uh, today is all about uh, a new hot fix for SCCM version 1802. I believe it's KB4163547. I showed you guys within my about system center configuration manager, I am running the console version of 5, 1802, 1082, 1800. Uh, everything stays the same except this guy right here. I think it's 1807 when once you push out the KB. First thing that we need to do is click on administration, updates and servicing, check for updates. Now this process takes a while, you know, be patient. Click on the refresh a couple of times and eventually you're going to see the hotfix, which is KB416-3547 uh, and it's available to download. Another way you could check that it is available to download or it's already downloaded inside your system because for me, for some reason, it said available to download. But if I go inside Program Files, Microsoft Configuration Manager, Easy Setup Payload, it was already there. Uh, it, it was actually downloaded on 6-12-2018 around 11-10 a.m. But it's really strange that it stated that it's available to download. So I had to scratch my head because it, it was already there within the Easy Payload uh, folder. But within the console it says available to download. So I went inside the Configuration Manager, Service Manager. I uh, went to Components and I located my Configuration Manager updates and I right click on it and I make sure that I run it and it was running and I also made sure that my SMS DMP uh, downloader was also running. Uh, eventually when everything was running I clicked on the refresh and it said ready to install that's a good thing. So I right clicked on it and I said install update pack. Now best practice is you want to run the pre vesicle check uh, but I normally don't do that. Now, before you even push out this hotfix, I do recommend that you back up your SCCM server. If you're running it within a virtual machine, take a snapshot and then run the hotfix, right? So I did install update pack. You get the nice little wizard. Uh, I checked ignore, right? I, I know, I know. It's a, it's a testing lab, but I did take a snapshot of it just in case something happens. Uh, once you do that, click next. I did upgrade without validating, click next on that, uh, accept the license and terms, and then you click on next, and then click next, and if everything works, you're gonna get that green check mark, which is great. Now the green check mark doesn't mean that it's installed and it's done, it just basically means that the process of getting it to start, to install within your SCCM has started successfully and you haven't had any issues. So we're gonna close this up, and once you close, you're going to see underneath the state column, it's going to say installing. That's always a good thing. If you highlight your hotfix, your new hotfix that you're installing, and right here on the lower right-hand side, you're going to click on show status. Uh, it's going to show the status. It's going to give you a uh, update package name, which is the hotfix name, right? And what you could do is highlight it, right-click on it, and show status. And it's going to give you a nice little overview of what's going on. Uh, automatically, you're going to get the check mark for download, which is great. Replication is check mark. And then it, if everything works, you should have the installation with the little play button uh, in progress. If you click on it, you should get all the information of what's completed and what's actually starting. For me, it looks like it was starting the WMI feature. And once everything was done, uh, eventually you're going to get this to pop up. If this pops up, this is a good thing. That means that the hotfix is about, I would say, 95% done, and it needs to upgrade the SCCM console. So you, what you want to do is press OK. And once you press OK, don't freak out. Your console is going to close. When it closes up, you're going to see this dialog box that is downloading files. And eventually, it's going to start doing this. And then you're going to get this. Once it states that the Configuration Manager console setup wizard finished successfully, it is two thumbs up. It's a good thing. You're going to click on finish. And what's going to happen is your console is going to open up. Now, the console is only going to open up if you have this checked off. Okay. Uh, by default, it's already checked off. So when you click on finish, it's going to load up. And once it loads up, you see this. So to double check to make sure the console has been upgraded, we're going to click on the menu button right here. Go to About Configuration Manager, 
And as you can see, it is now 1807. At the beginning of the video it was 1800. And then you're good to go. So we click OK on that. If you go back inside administration, updates and servicing, you're going to see your hotfix KB4163547. Underneath the state column, you're going to see installed. That's a good thing. Awesome. Also, the next thing that you need to do is make sure that your client version has been upgraded. Uh, it looks like the client version is going to be 1813. Uh, by default, if you want, you could push out an update to the clients or and also upgrade the client packages for your imaging process. Overall, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of how to get yourself up and running with the latest hotfix, which is KB4163547 within the SCCM version 1802. If you had any issues or questions or comments, leave them right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.